I'm willing to bet when you woke up this morning, you did not think you were gonna see John Wick fight the Mecha Emperor of Japan. I don't even know what the Emperor does yet, but I'm very interested in finding out. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> He's the personification of appearing behind somebody and saying it's nothing personal, kid. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, we've got something I never thought I would see in this game. John Wick has come to tabs. And if you've never heard of John Wick before, he's a very popular Fortnite character who became well known for needing parental credit cards to get out of trouble. So much so that they went on to make three full movies about him, starring Keanu Reeves, that guy who played uh, Kylo Ren in Star Trek. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do. On the left, we have John Wick, and on the right, we have 20 pirates with 40 flintlock pistols, which doesn't seem particularly fair, but it's still 2000 versus 2000. And if anything, I give John the advantage. I've no doubt he's gonna crank a couple quick 90s and light these guys up. And on that comment, we reached the end of my knowledge of Fortnite. That game is about as entertaining as a sandpaper colonoscopy. Did he just dodge a shot? Maybe he's getting shot? It looks like he's dodging. Like he's, he's ducking behind corners so that he can't get shot at. What do you mean? We can't even follow him in the maze. It might be the kickback from that shotgun, but I... Doubt it. Oh god, he's really piling up the bodies. They never stood a chance. Everyone knows that John Wick is good at escaping death, but can he fight death head on? I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like if the Grim Reaper closes the distance, then he might get John, but that won't be the case. I mean, this is what you get for taking his dog. This mod also brought back the shapeshifter, and I really can't help but try them because they're just the coolest units. I'm gonna make it 5v1, even though they're worth the same amount, because it's a complete gamble. Like, they could end up being a hobbit, they could end up being a sumo, or some kind of centurion guard. I don't think any of it really matters, though, because... <laughs> John apparently knows how to kick people in the taint, Kick skeletons in the taint? Do skeletons even have taints? He found one. Cupid's love powers are pretty strong. We've seen them make hobbits and frost giants do just unspeakable things to one another. But I'm curious, could John fall in love? Holy crap. He sidestepped all the arrows and then picked them off instantly. We need more cupids. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. We've got the whole Heavenly Orgy squad out here today. One of them must be able to hit him, right? Some are gonna fall before they get their shots off, but what matters is that anyone hit him? No, he, he dodges literally everything. Which is oddly fitting for the character. He's constantly getting shot at, but never actually gets hit. It's, oh. Oh, okay, uh, that's just a flesh wound. I'm pretty sure that's in the arm. He's starting to feel oddly strong emotions towards his guns, but the numbers are still not in their favor. This is a really cool character. I gotta say, I like it, so long as he doesn't get pinned to the wall. Okay, the barrage keeps on coming. He doesn't really know which direction to look in anymore. John. John, you gotta fire those guns. Don't get any bright ideas. You don't want to do anything else to them. He's really not gonna shoot any more of them. Are you kidding me? It's just smooth jazz in an arrow barrage. Come on, fire the gun, John. You gotta kill somebody. This could literally go on forever. He's just playing ring around the rosy. I don't know if he's taking damage. Oh, oh, there we go. He's woken up. The vengeance is returned. For the brief moment at least, he got one shot off. Oh, okay, yeah, you know what? I don't think they can kill him. They can just kind of distract him indefinitely. I initially planned for this video to be nothing but John Wick shooting a bunch of random units in a bunch of random scenarios, and there will be more of that, but I'm just now realizing this mod also brings a lot of new units and a lot of returning units that have been changed as well as having changed the factions. Like now the pirates have a cutlass. Like a cheap melee unit isn't all ranged units anymore. They also have cutlass throwers and bomb fists. I don't think we've seen them. Barrel rollers and pirate kings. So 
We're going to have all the new pirates on a pirate ship versus all of the new Vikings on a Viking ship. Vikings have also been dramatically changed. They now have war horns in the front, followed by Huskari, as well as Warhammers and Jarls, and then I think it's Thor and Frostbane on the ship. Frostbane is the one holding the glowing magic MacGuffin. Uh, I'm very interested in seeing what that does. <laughs> it's gonna be a little difficult to follow the action because there are so many explosions. <laughs> yeah, hammers and axes aren't that great against explosions. I also see barrels just flying all over the place. It's mostly gonna be the gods versus the pirate king and pirate queen, I would imagine. Pirate Queen is definitely getting the ribbon by Thor. What happened to old Frost McNuggets? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. I don't know how I could miss him. <laughs> he is down. Okay, so we've got Pirate King versus Thor. <laughs> Pirate King is firing a blunderbuss full of explosives. That doesn't seem very fair. Oh, and the Pirate King won. What? Would not have expected him to take out a god. I'm gonna try to boil things down a little bit so that we can actually follow the action. Because I really want to see what some of these new units can do. We're gonna start off with the Cutlass, because like I said, the Pirates have never really had a melee unit that they could just toss in front of their gunfire, and they're surprisingly cheap. The only unit that I could find like them was the Swordsman, or the Squire, whatever you want to call them. They have armor and a helmet, so I'm not really sure how exactly the Cutlass is gonna do, considering they have an open vest and a knife in their mouth. Huh. Over the last 30 something years, I'm sure everybody at one point or another has seen Obi-Wan Kenobi deflect blaster fire. But can he deflect a sword being thrown at him? And a metal sword at that, not like a magic wizard light sword. Oh, he doesn't even use the lightsaber to deflect, he uses the force. And the force does not work from behind. Oh, oh, we were so close. No, he's gonna kill you with a sword behind his back. Okay, we should not have underestimated the old fart. Wait, he died. <laughs> Did we win? I'm pretty sure if we strike him down, he's gonna be even stronger. That might've been a mistake. Here's a strange new unit. It's called Weapons Master, except it's a bunch of unarmed skeletons. What exactly are you guys gonna do? Oh! Oh, they randomly select weapons before they fight. One of them picked like a 12 foot long flaming sword. <laughs> that doesn't seem particularly fair. Well, if they're gonna give us another absurd lottery skeleton, then we might as well have the two of them face off against each other. It's gonna be 15 of the weapons master versus 15 shapeshifters. <laughs> Who is gonna get lucky? Okay, well, we got a snuffy, we got a tank. Uh. The tank seems to be breeding with the Huacha. Okay, yeah, the shapeshifters might be a little overpowered. When it's time for the siege weapons to mate, you know that the battle isn't being taken seriously. Here's a question I've lost a lot of sleep thinking about. How many hobbits would it take to beat John Wick? I'm gonna try 100, see if that gets anywhere. I get the feeling it'll potato my computer a bit, but John should be able to handle things. Uh. John, you may want to start reloading a little faster. They're getting a little close, John. Okay, I may have overestimated him a little bit. <laughs> I do not want to know what they're doing to his butthole right now. Even though he seems to be doing just fine. He's kind of getting tossed around, but he might be kicking and screaming. I'm not really sure. <laughs> no, no, they tossed him off the world and he got eaten by the windmill. Great. Well, aren't you guys just a little cloud of psychos? That kind of attack clearly can't go unpunished. But technically, John Wick is part of the modern faction, so maybe we could call in some more modern faction units, like the Bazooka? Uh... Some of these guys might need a hospital. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, that is not how you want to hold a bazooka. If I can look down the barrel of it and see your lungs, you're doing it wrong. I know it's technically a hundred versus seven, but is this overkill? <laughs> Probably not, right? I would imagine it'll be fine. I just need to watch it in slow motion because I have no doubt it will be spectacular. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what's below us, but I do know that their forecast is cloudy with a chance of hobbits. 
We got a couple of wannabe heroes over here, folks. Okay, then. How could anyone say that isn't one of the coolest tabs units they've ever seen? Like, the modern faction has to become a legitimate thing in this game. We've seen John dodge quite a bit of arrow fire, but I don't know if he's gonna be able to avoid Artemis's divine, godly level of arrow fire. There's a good chance that he's gonna get a couple of holes in that nice, fancy suit of his. Oh, I guess you could just shoot her first. I mean, like I said, he did get a couple of holes. John, what's with the kid's rain boots? Like, he's wearing a perfect three-piece suit and then toddler galoshes. Snuffy, I'm sure you didn't wake up this morning thinking you were gonna 1v1 John Wick. <laughs> Probably because you don't know what a John Wick is, but I gotta see what happens when he fights a large unit. When size is definitely a factor. Oh, oh, okay. Could you maybe, like, stomp him? There we go! <laughs> gonna bury him in that giant fuzzy taint of yours? Oh. Okay, I was gonna say the bullets are going through him, but I guess that's not a good thing. He wouldn't be able to dodge a ballista bolt, would he? I don't really know. In all reality, nobody in the movies ever tried firing a sharpened telephone pole at him, and I don't know why they wouldn't. Maybe unconventional projectiles are his weakness? What if we try rolling barrels at him? He can only dodge so many slow rolling up. Objects. Oh. Okay, those were neither slow moving nor rolling. They just ejected out of their hands like rockets and exploded on impact. I completely forgot that there's a modern faction and a world war faction. So we've got flamethrowers, and I don't think he'll be able to dodge flames the same way he can dodge projectiles. I. Yes, you could just shoot them all and ignore the flames. Did they not even reach you? <laughs> There's no way of killing this guy. I keep forgetting this is something that you can do in this game. Like, I very rarely remember to surround units, but desperate times call for needlessly excessive measures. Yeah, kind of expected that much. At least we know we can melt now. This is all for science. You'd never make a man 1v1 a tank if it wasn't somewhat scientific, right? I don't actually know if he can dodge cannonballs or if he'd even be willing to try. Like, I know the old adage, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball, so I figured if you could dodge a bullet, you could dodge a cannonball. Apparently not. Do you think he'd be willing to shoot a horse? I honestly don't know. He seems like a bit of an animal lover. The wobbly horse is deceptively powerful. Holy crap. Did the shield actually stop his bullets the whole way? Uh, is he dead? No, I think he's got the uwu eyes. I thought for a second they were X's, but they're, they're just very kawaii. I know it wasn't exactly the flashiest battle, but I gotta see that again because he's definitely shooting the horse in the neck and then the bullets are going through the horse and through the rider? Oh, the horse is dead. Well, that's different. <laughs> Question now is, can the rider pull it off? That shield is doing nothing, the armor is doing nothing, and he killed him. What? He avenged his dead horse. He became, what, Wan Jick? I gotta try another one of these revised faction battles because there's just so many new units to see. And a lot of them aren't super flashy, but clearly some of them are, as you could tell by all of the sparkling on the tribal side of the battlefield. We've got torchers and wildmen, rock throwers and hunters and wood collectors, weaponsmen and clubmasters and necromancers. The tribal faction's really been flushed out. We've seen quite a bit of them. But then on the ancient side of things, They've diversified a lot. They've got Legionary and Spartans and Centurions and Elites. Most of them have shields, which is probably going to be a problem considering a lot of the tribal faction are throwing rocks or sharpened rocks attached to sticks. I suppose we'll see. Oh, never mind. I thought the torch guys were going to toss them, but they kind of ran in and well, quickly died, but... They tried to catch people on fire. It is just a bloodbath. Everybody's swinging for the fences. 
<laughs> Some of them are getting launched to rent. Oh, that's the necromancer. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, that's a problem. They're outnumbering you guys because they can keep summoning more. Does it really matter how elite you are now? Your spear is just as effective as theirs, unfortunately. That is pretty bogus, I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was gonna be a slaughter for the ancient faction, because again, they've got huge metal shields that protect them from the nose to balls, but apparently that just doesn't matter. Let's try the new dynasty units versus the new medieval units. I'm kind of concerned with the dynasty because all of their units are pretty expensive. Like the Naginata and the Sumo are, are relatively cheap, but not really. It's only relative to stuff like Ronin and Mushashi, Kicking Jin and the Emperor, who's the glowing hot back there. And then you compare that to medieval faction where they they don't. They just don't have anything like that. They've got peasants, a whole lot of peasants. <laughs> They've got crossbowmen, and I don't know why the gladiators have two-story high daggers. Is that supposed to be a thing? I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a thing. <laughs> the Ignisword's been converted into an Ignis Slasher, and then they've got the Wobbly Horse Champions. It should be interesting, I'll give you that much. I feel like these swords are not super effective. Whoa, those Igni Slashers are really causing a show. The other units are burning, but they're, they're burning as they chop down all of the peasants. I think the Emperor just laid waste to everybody. Wait, wait, wait. Holy crap. How did the medieval faction win there? The Emperor just dropped out of nowhere, and there were so many Dynasty people left, but then they all died to one huge sword hit. I'm willing to bet when you woke up this morning, you did not think you were going to see John Wick fight the Mecha Emperor of Japan. I don't even know what the Emperor does yet, but I'm very interested in finding out. Oh my god. <laughs> He's the personification of appearing behind somebody and saying, it's nothing personal, kid. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I thought for sure John had that in the bag. Like, the way I saw this playing out was John shoots him in the chest, he drops, and it's hilarious because he's a huge glowing mecha emperor, but apparently not. <laughs> apparently, he is one of the most overpowered tabs units we've ever seen. Good kick! Kicked him right in the chin, I'm willing to bet that hurt. You sent him back there for a second, where is he going? Oh, that is such a cool effect and so incredibly overpowered because he's constantly behind you. John, you can't protect your butt. You're a tabs unit. You have a really hard time turning around. I want you to shoot him so badly. Please, please just, just shoot him once. You can't keep kicking him. These donkey kicks are not gonna do any damage. He's like a silver samurai. <laughs> Oh, this is painful to watch. I, I just want him to bend his elbow a little bit and point that shotgun towards his balls. It, it would work so well, but he can't because he doesn't have elbows. He's just a weird spaghetti creature. Look at the two-legged kick. I think he's taking damage. He's probably not taking damage. Oh, you shot him. Oh, that, that, that wounded him. He doesn't seem to be doing too well, John. Is he dead? There's no way he's dead. John, turn around, turn around quickly. Come on, come on, you gotta stop shooting. Oh my God. It's like watching a train crash in slow motion. Even when John does get him down and starts unloading into him, it doesn't matter in the slightest. <laughs> Not even a little bit. What an overpowered unit. Do you think the Grim Reaper's tentacles would be able to penetrate Mech Emperor? Like, they don't have elbows, so they might be able to reach behind him. It's worth a shot. There has to be something that can kill this thing. Good about face. Kill him. Oh my god, what a whiff. He literally disappeared under the attack. Come on, tentacles, work your magic. Oh, this is so brutal. Well, he's down. Don't let him get back up. Just give him the old scythe. Nope, not even a little bit. There you go. There's a good hit. Oh, he might have faked us out. Oh, I got to speed this up. I got to see this in, in real time because, oh, it is actually really difficult to follow. I feel like Grim is hitting him. He's definitely getting some scythe attacks in. It just doesn't really matter. 
I get the feeling people would be pissed if I ended the video without trying John Wick versus John Wick. Or at least they would be more pissed than they already are after not getting the joke at the beginning of this video. <laughs> Let's see if this is just gonna be a complete dodge fest. There was no dodging. It, they, they just slugged it out. That was surprising. Were they just too close to one another? <laughs> Let's try that again, except for this time, Blue John Wick has a tiny head. And that gives him a huge advantage because he can't get a headshot when you can barely see it. <laughs> oh, that's just perfect. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And I had other plans for this episode. I was gonna do a zombie invasion episode because we had those spawners that could just randomly generate zombies, but the mods for this game just keep on coming. We've got so many new units in this and the factions are so different. And then there are other mods that I haven't seen yet. I haven't gotten into. So if you guys wanna see more tabs, as always, be sure to leave a like this video, let me know, and I'll return to try out even more crazy new units. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.